Hi guys. Today we're working on piecewise functions. What does that mean? Well, we have two different functions right there. We're going to use this function under this condition. We're going to use this function under this condition. Before we start, I want to set up my graph to where I don't get confused on when I'm doing what. So I like to color code, you know, but just know that I'm not shading. I'm just separating my graph to keep me from making mistakes. So when you look in the graph right here, x less than or equal to. Remember that x is a vertical line going through two right there. So I'm going to color on my graph everything less than two. So two is right there. And I'm going to shade everything less than two. Not I'm not graphing yet. I'm not working. I'm just setting up my graph just to make sure that on this part of the graph, I will have this function right there. I know that it's a linear function because negative 2x, that's a negative slope, and the y-intercept is right there at negative 1. Okay, so I know that on this part of the graph, I'm going to have a negative slope line going through right there at negative 1. Okay, and then I also know that on this part of the graph where x is greater than 2, x is greater than 2 on this side of the graph right here. So everything where x is greater than 2 is the part of the graph that I will use this function, negative x plus 4. Okay, so that way I know if this line accidentally goes through the yellow part, I'm at wrong. I need to stop and rethink my, retrace my steps. Okay, so right here, I know it's at negative 1 right there. Negative 1. And then this slope is negative 2. So I go 2 down, 1 over, 2 down, 1 over. Whoa, stop right there. That's the yellow line. That means I cannot keep on graphing. Okay, so it's a solid dot right there because it's less than or equal to. All right. Now you go ahead and you make that line nice and pretty. And just know that it keeps going forever this way. Now for the second one, I have this function right here with the y-intercept is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the slope of negative x. But notice that I'm on the orange side. I cannot keep start. I cannot start graphing until I get to the yellow part. Okay. But I know it was supposed to start right there. And then you go down one over one, down one over one. Oh, I can start there. And it's open dot because it's greater, uh, greater than. So open dot. And then the slope is down one over one, down one over one. Okay. And that part also keeps going on forever this way. Okay. Now, is this a function? I don't know. What is a function? Well, there are two different ways for you to remember what a function is. One, does it pass the vertical line test? The vertical line right there. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to cross the vertical line right there at two points. But the good news is this one, it's an open dot. That means that point is quite not there. This one is. This one is not. So it passes the vertical line test. Or, you know, you might remember x repeats. So is it a function? Yes, it is a function because x does not repeat. Or it passes the vertical line test. If you're not listening, you might want to write this down. Or just make sure that you remember for the test. Now, what does this mean? It means what is y when the function, when x, is negative 2? Well, x is negative 2 right here. What is y? 3. 3 is right there. Same thing for that one. 
What is y when x is 2? Well, x is 2 right there. Do I use this one or do I use this one? Well, this one, x is not really there. Okay? But it's definitely there. So, what is y when x is 2? Well, y is negative 5. What is y when x is 8? x is 8 right there. y is negative 4. One more. Only two. Woo! Okay. This one, <laughs> we have three of them now. What am I going to do? Well, like I did in example one, I will color code my graph just to make sure that I don't pass that line when I'm graphing because it happens and you don't want to make boo-boo. Okay, so when x is greater than 5, x is 5 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x is everything greater than 5. So I would use this first function right there when x is greater than 5. Now I'm going to use y equals negative 1 between 0 and 5. So I'm going to use yellow right there between 0 and 5. And the last one, x is less than 0. So everything on this side, that's for the last equation right there, or the last function. Okay, so right here, I'm going to graph only on the orange part, right there, where the y-intercept is at negative 3, but I cannot start graphing until I get to the orange part, okay? So at negative 3, 2 up, 1 over, the slope is 2. And then I start right there. So open dot, because it's only greater than 5. So open dot, and then I keep on with my slope. 2 up, 1 over. Now, y equals negative 1 is just simply a line that goes across right there at negative 1 from here to here. And it's solid right there, and it's solid right there. Okay? Now, this is a parabola, x squared minus 1. So the vertex will be right here, and I'm only graphing this side of the parabola. If you're not sure, you can punch that in the calculator so you can get the points just right. And it's not a V-shape. The parabola makes like a cute little U. I meant to go through that point. There we go. Okay, so that's my pretty graph. That's my piecewise function. Now, the next question is, is this a function? And you're like, well, I'm not sure about that one. I know from example one that this would be okay for the function. But how about this one? If you look... At the functions right there, it's being represented that x does not repeat right there at 0 because it's a closed dot right there when y equals negative 1, and it's open dot right there when x is less than 0. Okay? So that makes this a function. Four more questions right here. So what is y when x is 5? x is 5 right here. We're looking at this one? No. We're looking at this one right here. So y is negative 1. But why am I looking at this one, not this one? How do I know? This one is open dot. That means it does not include that point. This one does include the point. What is y when, y, when x is 0? x is 0 right there. y is negative 1. 
what is y when x is negative 2? x is negative 2 right here. It should be right here at 3. Sorry about that. Boo boo. So x is 3. And what is y when x is 6? x is 6 right there. Your y is 9. Let me show you something before you go in the calculator. So I don't expect you to know how to graph a quadrat. So 6. I don't expect you to know how to graph a parabola by heart. So go ahead and punch that in the calculator. There's nothing wrong with that. And then when you go to the table, you have the points right there. 0, negative 2, 3, and so on. And then I had negative 3, 8 right there. Okay? So when in doubt, just grab your calculator. That's all I have for you. Hope this helps. Bye now.